You guys. I cut my hair. I don't know how I feel about this haircut yet. I just got it two hours ago, so I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to- I don't even know why I'm listening to headphones. I'm not using it. Um, it's also my birthday today, so happy birthday to me! <laughs> uh, I can't believe I'm 26. What's up guys? It's Night and Nina. Queen's album is coming! It's not even a single. It's a mini album. Her first mini album. Red. Six tracks. Oh my god. Okay, listen, let's go over some things together, shall we? How about we do that, huh? First of all, her packaging. Uh, it's already out for pre-order. I already ordered mine. I'm excited to get it. It's almost as big as Maria or, no, Soar? But like thinner is what I've heard. So that's the album. There's this tear thing that you usually find in like boxes of like frozen food <laughs> or like um you know, like envelopes or something like that like packages i thought that was super interesting like that's how that's how they package it we'll go into details as to why this is meaningful and then there, it's so the name of the album is red with two d's however the second d is a different font than the rest of the letters there's also like the squiggly line that you usually see when you misspell stuff in like Word documents and stuff like that. Here's the watercolor red on the CD. Exciting, exciting photo book. There's going to be a ticket. That's cool. Stickers. And then a lenticular card. That's really cool. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's like... All of her previous albums into one. Her face and her eyes is like what's most consistent, if you can tell. I think that's really, really cool. And then in the back, there's her magnolia red. And I think it's like just symbols of the other albums, maybe. Photo card, which I'm glad I'm going to get an update from this. This is what I have currently. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> and then a poster or posters. Ah! <laughs> Excited. Ah! <laughs> Let's check out the uh, little video teaser that she put out. So it's her with like a bunch of paint splattered everywhere. There's a Magnolia signature. I think you could call it her signature now. Coming soon. I'm excited. It kind of reminds me of um, Paint Me. That song where they just did a bunch of paint on the wall. You can see there's a lot of... I guess you could call it mistakes. Um, messiness. Like... All over her, her face. Right? And her clothes. Almost looks like blood. I was a little bit worried. Uh, the words flashing on there, watercolor. She's looking gorgeous as ever. It's like there's a sense of her being a little bit silly, and quirky. And then there's a serious side that you see in black and white with her long hair down. You don't really get a sense of what kind of songs are going to be on her album, but I can get the feel of it from this teaser only that it's going to be an album of about something personal, I think. Kind of like her song 25, that kind of vibe. Hi guys, yes. There's a sombrero on my mic. Also, don't click away or fast forward, please. I just wanted to make a quick announcement that today is the last day I will stream for my birthday because today is my birthday. And for the charity stream, it's the last time we're going to raise money to stop 
AAPI hate. I'd really appreciate if you could just click the link down below, tiltify.com. Stop by, make a donation if you can. Otherwise, just hang out, chat, chill with us. We could talk about Mama Moo as well. I'd love to see you guys there and chat with you. Uh, get to know you a little bit better. Maybe you can get to know me as well. We have a lot of fun over there. And if we reach our goal, which is $444.95, I will <laughs> rap to Mama Moo's Sleep in the Car instrumental in one of these Dr. Seuss books. They don't worry, they're not the racist ones. One of them. You guys will get to pick. <laughs> I suck at rapping, um, but I thought it'd be funny to watch me poorly rap to Mama Moo sleep in the car. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching till the end. Now let's get back to the video. Now let's talk about the schedule that they released. First off, not gonna lie, it looks like a high schooler did it. <laughs> like the dates are just, it's not a line. It's kind of hard to see. There's different fonts everywhere. Um, I mean, it's, it's a bit messy. I don't know if that's the intention. Maybe it's to show that she still has like this young, immature side to her, perhaps. I don't know. Like hell, 411, that's, it's just Instagram. We don't even know <laughs> what that is. It's, it just shows Instagram. What is she going to do? <laughs> I'm, ass I'm assuming it, it's, a, it's just going to be a photo on Instagram. But like, aren't all the concept photos going to be released on Instagram anyways? Or maybe like she's going to be live on Instagram? I don't know. But anyways... So on the 5th at midnight, Korean time, concept photo and film is coming out. And you can see that um, there's her earrings. She's showing off her little earrings there and her cute nails. A lot of, a lot of rings, a lot of bling bling on her right there. I think that's an a old tattoo maybe? W? On the 6th, the next day, the track list comes out. Track 6, live clip, and track number 2, live clip. I don't know why the order is off. That's quite interesting how they rearranged that. But from what we know, it looks like there's going to be 6 songs in the mini album. So that's confirmed. And the picture for on the 6th, oh, maybe because like it's the 6th. So they wanted to put out track number six. I think it's as simple as that. <laughs> I think with this company, this group, you could just think simple. Less is more. I think that's their motto. This is just, I don't even know what this picture is. A blanket? Like a blankment? Blankment? <laughs> a, blanket a blanket statement. Maybe? I don't know. And then on the seventh is like this really blue, complete opposite of red, cap with some letters stitched on it. The seventh, we're gonna have tracks three, four, and five live clips come out with another concept photo. Ooh. And then number eight, this is her and uh, with her red watercolor paint. I wonder if she's trying to like look scary because it kind of looks like blood. But to me, it's it's so obvious that it's paint. She just looks like a kindergartner that just like had way too much fun with the watercolor paint. Um, so on the 8th at midnight, a music video teaser. Ooh. Okay, there's her signature sign. Let me, oh wait, hold on. I'm lost. Okay, 8 and then 9. Uh, okay, okay, 9, 9. So on the 9th, we're going to get a concept photo and a highlight medley that's going to be, I guess, released on uh, VLive first. And then the YouTube channel, perhaps, at noon, Korean time. Next to that is, are, is an image of peacock feathers. Now, peacock feathers, usually, um, the, the use of it is to sexually attract uh, female peacocks. That's why male peacocks fe uh, feathers have, like, really colorful feathers. But, I guess in certain 
religious beliefs and rituals. It also symbolizes balance, beauty, third eye perception, immortality, awakening, self-confidence, spirituality, resurrection, love, self-love, and leadership. I don't really know how true that is, but it, it means like a, it seems like it means like a good thing. Either something sexual or beautiful or just being confident. Maybe one of her songs is about being confident in herself. With her <laughs> sexy self. Get it, girl. Then on the 10th, we have uh, two pictures, I think. Yeah. This, I don't even know what this is. Maybe like a bunch of colored plastic discs are like lined up with uh, some kind of gold ornate object thing. I don't know. But it's quite a pretty picture, I think. And then we also have um, food. This is a concept photo. It's going to be released on the 10th. Food! She always surrounds herself with food. Like, messy food. Um, one example is during Goodbye. If you can see, this is her live performance of Goodbye on, um, I think, One Decay. And she's surrounded by food. Open food. Like, some of it's half-eaten. Yeah, yeah, like a cake slice there. We got some donuts. We got cookies. We got, uh, what is that? A juice? Some kind of orange juice or mango juice? Open food. I mean, this is probably unrelated, but when she, she featured in Peak Boy's Diet, of course, obviously, that's a song all about food as well. I don't know if, like, this this concept of food that she's sticking with throughout these years is something that means or holds a special place in her heart or something. I don't really know. Or maybe it's like a struggle that she has with um, related to uh, losing weight or being on a diet or something. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting that in Goodbye, there was a lot of food around her. And then again, here, we got more cake. Or it just means that she she got a nice booty cake. <laughs> okay, now on the 11th, it's some kind of water image ref with light reflecting off of it, or it's like a blue water color paint, but Instagram on the 11th, whatever that means. Then we have her tattoo, Cato. Don't know what that means, but on the 12th, another music uh, video teaser for the same title okay around at midnight and then there's an interview red interview what is that i don't even know what that means i'm guessing like uh the people that usually do their videos in rbw gave her an interview so i'm really excited about that also a pre-release on uh v life finally the release 13th of course red i don't think there's not much meaning to that either it's gonna be released and here we have, uh, this is like the, those nails from, um, on her Instagram that she showed off. It's the same yellow and red tip as well with a bunch of rings, a bunch of jewelry. And then we have her eye again with the squiggly line. Oh, uh, and then we have her tattoos here, butterfly tattoos with the, oh, I didn't even know that was a tattoo. I knew these, these were her tattoos. I don't even know what that is. It's very cute. It's like a coloring book, as uh, as if like her her body is a coloring book. Oh, ice, ice! Oh, very cold. It's so cold. Red. Well, let's talk about this. They released on an article. Uh, in this article, they're talking about um her first mini album, Red. Blah 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 blah. Uh, pay attention to what this means. Red. Wien's first mini album Red means let's clean up false tastes and styles attached to my body and mind and show ourselves that or what we really want. I think that's supposed to be translated like that. Basically, <laughs> I think she she gets a lot of like keywords attached to her name and then it gets attached into her mind and she's like, oh, I'm supposed to be like this. And I've I've kind of noticed this since the very uh the early years where everyone's like, You're so cute, you're so cute and she's like, I don't wanna be cute. Like she like obviously just because of her face 
and her her height. She's just so small and cute and adorable. People already attach that kind of image to her. So it's hard for her to break out of that image because of everyone's first impression of her. So I think in this album, she really wants to show all these different sides that she wants to show to the world and be like, just associate Wean as Wean. No stereotypes. This is who she is as an artist. Take it or leave it. But I think it's dope. With that meaning, I think that's why this album is so freaking cool. Because of the, the tearing thing? It's literally like you're she's trying to make you break apart this assumption of her, maybe. She's trying to break all of that stereotypes. And then with red, the squiggly lines, and then this is the typewriter line. Some people will see that and think, oh, that's wrong, that's not how you spell red, but she's trying to make us look at a different perspective. It's kind of like saying that typo is people's uh, immediate assumption about her image, maybe? Like, you know how when, when, you ty when you make a typo in Word document, Microsoft Word, and then the squiggly line comes up when you misspell something immediately? That's like people's immediate first impressions of her is already wrong. That's what I think that means. <laughs> I could be looking into it uh, differently, but um, I also find it interesting that the second D is a different font from the rest of the letters. That I don't really get. Maybe it's like her style that she wants to implement in the word red. Because if you notice the squiggly line, it only goes up to the actual correct spelling red. But it doesn't include the second D. So maybe she's saying, like, stop being normal. Normal isn't always correct or the right standard. I think it'll be a good album. I'm excited for it. I would have, I never assumed that it would have been um, a mini album. I, I always thought it was a single. So I think that, like, some of the songs that she made years ago is going to come out now. I remember seeing uh, that the CEO, Kim Do Hoon, Kim Do Hoon. He mentioned that she composed some really good songs but back in the day, but uh, he wanted to leave it as like a special, you know, for a special time. He wanted to reserve her songs for her own solo album, and I think this is it. Super stoked to see what she has in store for us. Next video will be another uh, reaction video of one of her songs, and hopefully a... Uh, uh, reaction to all of the teasers and concept photos that have come out since uh thursday so i hope you guys are ready for this i'm not ready for this but i'm also ready for it i don't know how i feel i don't know how i feel nowadays but uh thank you for watching hope you enjoyed love you appreciate you and i'll see you later bye <laughs>